Welcome back, everybody. This is my response to the Button Mappers video titled Violence in Games. I would like to say that anything goes in games, and if something does go too far, then we as an audience can be satisfied if the game is a commercial failure. We see it in movies where certain underground, hyperviolent films remain exactly that, underground. Nobody says that they shouldn't exist unless they harm people or animals in their creation, and their success, if at all, is minimal. Now, back to games. Grand Theft Auto has you mowing down people in cars, but there's no dismemberment, no gut spilling, no excessive blood, and no harming children or animals. You can see where Rockstar drew their line, and it's worked out tremendously for them despite attracting controversy. Call of Duty has included attack dogs that the player can target and kill, and they emit short cries upon death. I'll admit, that startled me, and I never grew comfortable with killing the attack dogs, but that didn't cross the line. I can tolerate excessive violence if it's justified within the context of the game. I can tolerate gratuitous violence if it's cartoony or lacks extreme gore. The line has to be drawn where fantasy meets deranged, psychopathic fulfillment. Do not subject the player to having to torture anyone or anything with any kind of realism. Do not subject the player to the inhumane treatment of children and animals. The combinations of cruelty, torture, gore, blood, realism, and the acts of violence themselves are what contribute to crossing the line or not. It is mostly subjective, but the vast majority of us can determine when something is crossed into the realm of unnecessary psychopathy. For example, if you design a cruel torture scene, dial back the gore. If the subject of violence is a child, don't make it too bloody or realistic. If the player has to hunt animals, don't make it inhumane. So there's my answer. The line is not clearly defined, but it is there, and healthy individuals at least have a sense of when it's been crossed. Should it be crossed? Probably not. These are video games, and what we ultimately want to experience is fun gameplay above anything else. Movies and novels can experiment with eliciting a variety of other emotions because they are storytelling mediums. But once video games start trending down that path, well, that's a discussion for another time. Thanks for listening, and thanks to the button mappers and anyone else participating. See you next time.